In the autumn of 1946, Swedish Saab started making plans for a replacement for the Swedish Air Force's Saab B-18s and S-18s. The Swedish government wanted a turbojet-powered strike aircraft, that could also replace the J-21 and the J-30 Mosquito. The project was designated the P-1150. The P-1150 had to be able to attack anywhere along the 2,000km Swedish coastline, within one hour after launch. It had to be able to operate both in the day and in the night, in any weather condition. Saab wanted a swept-wing design, which they tested in a scaled-down version on a modified Saab 91A. Four prototypes were constructed, and the first flight took place November 3, 1952. It was powered by the Rolls-Royce Avon RA7R, which later was manufactured in Sweden on license. In October 1953 one of the prototypes passed Mach 1 while diving. In December 1955 the first A-32A Lanson was delivered to Air Wing F-17, replacing the T-18B. A total of 287 A-32As were delivered until June 1957. It served until 1972, when it was replaced by AJ-37 Vighen. The Saab 32 was the first Swedish two-seater jet, and also the first Swedish aircraft with a built-in search radar. The A-32A could be armed with a total of four 20mm cannons, and had wing pylons for various rockets and bombs. The fighter version J-32B was delivered from July 1959 to May 1960. It had a more powerful engine, and a reinforced structure. It also had improved electronics and an IR sight. It was armed with four 30mm Aden cannons, as well as four RB-24 Sidewinder missiles and various rockets. 118 J-32Bs were delivered in total. Some of these would later be modified for other roles. The S-32C was the reconnaissance version of Lanson. It was very similar to the A-32A. It had however a more effective radar, as well as a set of cameras. A total of 44 aircraft were delivered. Later in its career, Saab 32s were used as target tugs and for electronic warfare. The Saab 32 served in the Swedish Air Force until the late 1990s, and later in civilian service at the Swedish Radiation Safety Authority. A third of all Saab 32 Lansons were destroyed in crashes during its service, killing 100 crew members and 7 civilians. The many crashes occurred due to technical errors, as well as nighttime and all-weather training.